With crazy plays, moments, and defining decisions, live sports are unpredictable. The press conferences and interviews before and after these events can be even more zany. In many cases, athletes get angry and fed up with dumb, rude, and intrusive questions. That's when we get to sit back and enjoy the show as they put a reporter in their place. But before you watch, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Michael Strahan chews a reporter out. Michael Strahan has slowly transformed himself into the family-friendly face of America. He got his first big break on the talk show live with Kelly and then ditched her to become a permanent member of Good Morning America. Strahan would follow that up with numerous other gigs, including a hosting position on the ABC show $100,000 Pyramid. He's very friendly on all of those shows, but it's very different than his hard-hitting days as a leading defensive lineman on the New York Giants. During a locker room scrum with Strahan back in 2006, the G-Men were on a losing streak and Strahan was clearly fed up with some teammates, including Plaxico Burris. When rumors swirled that there was some tension, reporters jumped on the chance to increase the drama. But Michael was having none of it. While chewing large chunks of food, Strahan chewed out a reporter, made her look him directly in the eye while asking the question, and then shut her down for good with a motivational speech about the team working together and not placing blame on just a single player. Strahan has a crazy look in his eye during the whole thing and is clearly someone that the reporter doesn't want to mess with anymore. Serena Williams wants to go home. Tennis can be exhausting, and that's just referring to a 30-minute pick-me-up game at the local park. You can only imagine how tiring it must be for the professional players that hustle up and down the court for hours at a time. When a match is over, the tournament likely continues the next day, but not before these players have to deal with reporters during a press conference. Serena Williams has been great to the media over the years, but in 2015, she had enough at one point. After beating her sister Venus in a US Open match, Serena took a series of questions from reporters. One reporter was obviously upset by her demeanor and decided to ask why she wasn't smiling. Well, big mistake. Serena took that moment to talk about the time of day, hard work she put in, and how she's just tired, plain and simple. She also took a great dig at the reporters, stating that they just keep asking her the same questions and are not making the experience enjoyable for her. It's pretty rude and a little sexist to demand a smile from a player, and Williams smartly turned that right around on the reporters. Needless to say, the press conference ended pretty shortly after that moment. Bryce Harper's Clown Question The Washington Nationals have found major success with right fielder Bryce Harper. He entered the league at just 19, making him one of the youngest players to hit a major league home run and get selected for the All-Star Game. While he should have a long career ahead of him, his early days did have a few challenges because of his young age. Reporters often played up his age with questions and story angles. When the team was in Toronto playing the Blue Jays, Harper was asked if he was going to celebrate a win by having a drink because the Canadian drinking age is only 19. After hearing the ridiculous question, Harper followed it up with a short and excellent answer. With an annoyance on his face, Harper simply uttered, I'm not going to answer that. That's a clown question, bro. And just like that, it was on to the next question, as the reporter was probably embarrassed. The quote quickly went viral as it was turned into memes and repeated all over the world. Harper even applied for a trademark on the phrase, hoping to cash in on the great quote for t-shirts, mugs, and other goofy products. Russell Westbrook won't be split up. There's no denying that Russell Westbrook is the core star of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just don't tell him that. Back in April of 2017, Westbrook was a part of a playoff post-game press conference with his teammate, Steve Adams. A reporter directed a question towards Adams about how the team plays poorly when Westbrook is on the bench. Before Adams could be baited any further, Westbrook stepped in and tore the reporter up with a lengthy response that quickly spread like wildfire over the internet. Westbrook denied the reporter's chance to get an answer as Westbrook focused on them sticking together as a team no matter who is on or off the bench. And while you can't deny statistics, Westbrook remains loyal to his teammates. He went off on not only the reporter, but anyone who tries to create drama within the same teammates. The reporter persisted to get Adams to answer, but Westbrook continued to take over and Adams sat there silently. What made the moment even better was Westbrook's outlandish outfit that included a retro pair of sunglasses, a Hawaiian shirt, and a blue bandana. If he was dressed like some sort of beach cowboy, then Westbrook definitely won that shootout with that reporter. Derek Anderson not in the mood. The NFL sidelines is a great place to go over plays, express your frustrations, and enjoy a little Gatorade. 
What many players forget is that there are dozens of cameras pointed at these sidelines during every game and capturing every single moment. Odell Beckham knows this all too well, and so does NFL quarterback Derek Anderson. Back in 2012, Anderson spent one season playing for the Arizona Cardinals, and the team got to play a Monday night football game against the San Francisco 49ers. After suffering an embarrassing blowout, cameras caught Anderson laughing on the sidelines with his teammate, Deuce Latui. When the game ended, reporters were all over him for laughing while their team was playing horribly. Anderson took major offense to this, launching into a tirade, lashing back against the reporter and was clearly beyond frustrated. He only got more angry as the question went on and the memorable rant that followed was on the highlight reels for weeks. Eventually, Anderson became so upset that he just stormed out of the press conference, fed up with all the scrutiny over such a little moment. Anderson was able to rebound from this moment and would have the last laugh, as he joined the Carolina Panthers and now serves as their backup QB behind Cam Newton. Athletes don't always use their words to get back at reporters. Can you name which dual sport athlete got revenge on a reporter by dumping multiple buckets of ice on him back in the 1990s? Answer coming in at the end of the video. Vince McMahon on Bob Costas. The WWE has dealt with a lot of criticism through the years. There was the steroid scandal in the early 1990s, the boundary pushing antics of the Attitude Era, countless segments where content was not deemed appropriate for families, and WWE CEO and owner Vince McMahon got a chance to defend these allegations when he sat down with Bob Costas on his HBO show On The Record back in 2001. Costas took no time criticizing McMahon for some of the show's content, but clearly Vince was not having any of it. Costas was pretty easy to to handle compared to massive WWE superstars like Hulk Hogan, John Cena, and The Ultimate Warrior. Vince McMahon stood his ground, told him to shut up, and defended the WWE product the best he could. He explained different aspects of the show and got really heated when Costas kept trying to interrupt him. At one point, Vince leaned right up to Costas' face and angrily raged at him for criticizing a product he hasn't seen. All in all, it wasn't much different than an in-ring segment on WWE Raw. Costas kept trying to trap Vince in the corner, but he continued to battle his way out through the lengthy interview that showcased one of the truest sides of Vince we have ever seen. The Rebound Explanation When the NCAA tournament takes place every March, fans eagerly await to see some of the great first-round matchups and upsets that will take place. In 2016, one of the biggest headlines came when the 12th-ranked Yale were able to defeat the 5th-ranked Baylor 79-75. For Baylor's young group of players, the moment was devastating, and as if that wasn't hard enough, they immediately had to attend a press conference afterwards. During the press conference, a reporter attempted to ask a question about the rebounding statistics, but he fumbled on the words and made it sound extremely confusing. After repeating the question, it still wasn't any clearer on what the reporter wanted to know about the rebounds. Not missing a beat, Baylor player Torian Prince took the opportunity to explain how they were out-rebounded. He calmly explains what a rebound is, describing how the ball misses a hoop and one of the players grabs it and then simply states that Yale got more of those rebounds than Baylor did. The simple explanation was genius and a great way to shut down the reporter's obvious insult that was described as more of a question. Not a bad way to start one of your first major press conferences in the league. Chris Paul is baffled. Players should always believe in their team, in their skills, and the ability to get far during a season. This is why it can be so frustrating when reporters and fans try to bring them down with negative talk. While most players would shrug off bad questions with a motivational comment, Chris Paul was completely baffled as to why a reporter asked him if he thought his team was going to make it to a Game 7 in the NBA playoffs. The moment took place after the Clippers lost to the Utah Jazz in the 2017 playoffs and they were down in the series three games to two. The look on his face says it all, but Paul goes on first by saying, what? Clearly showcasing his confusion with the question. He further follows up on the Game 7 question by basically saying, what do you think I'm going to say? I mean, come on, no player would ever say, no, we expect to lose and be eliminated from the playoffs. It's a question that needs no answer, and Chris Paul's reaction made sure that he wouldn't be asked things like that again. He even went on to question why the reporter would ask a question like that, questioning his experience and saying he's been doing it long enough to know not to ask things like that. CM Punk tries to get off the record. CM Punk made major headlines back in 2014 when he left the WWE at the top of his career and decided to try a career in mixed martial arts. After signing with UFC, Punk began his first press tour with no future fights or plans fully announced. As a part of this tour, Punk did an interview on the Canadian sports show Off The Record. Well, things got awkward real fast, but Punk just rolled along with it until towards the end of the interview. 
He put the reporter in his place, calling him out for his rude questions, focus on wrestling, and the video package that he created just to taunt Punk. He goes on to call out Michael Landsberg for acting completely different off-camera and buddying up Punk until the interview actually took place. Punk can get emotional, especially when you consider his WWE dates, but he played it smart here, staying calm, making Landsberg look like a fool, and getting through the interview with a lot of professionalism. Not bad for the former WWE superstar, who had one of the greatest moments of all time with his WWE Raw pipe bomb promo that lashed out against the whole company. Ronda Rousey and Female Equality Ronda Rousey helped put female MMA fighting on the map. She became a huge star in the UFC, was one of the highest paid fighters, and had a majorly successful career in the octagon. Outside of fighting, she helped captivate fans with her strong sense of self, great communication skills, and ability to entertain the masses. And because she is a woman, Rousey also deals with the constant onslaught of questions about feminism, female equality, and being treated like a girl in the violent sport. There have been countless times where Rousey shut reporters down with her smart and insightful answers. During an interview, a reporter asked her about the exploitation of female superheroes in their outfits and looks. Although the question was random, Rousey took it on with a smile and was able to answer it by saying that superhero men were over the top and exploited as well, and that it was just part of the genre. At another press event, she was asked about equal pay for men and women. Rousey went on to talk about how she was getting paid more than any of the other fighters in the UFC, because she earned more pay-per-view buys and press than the other fighters. Smart and simple answers has helped her rise above baited questions looking for controversial answers. Thanks for watching. Now time for your trivia answer. Back in 1992, Deion Sanders was playing for both the MLB's Atlanta Braves and the NFL's Atlanta Falcons at the same time. When a reporter criticized him for this, Sanders answered back by pouring multiple buckets of ice water on him. And there you have it. What moment do you think was the funniest? Are there any that we missed? Should athletes have to deal with so many reporters? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Sportster on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. See ya!